Welcome back to Inform Overload, the news channel that tells you about the most interesting news stories currently trending on the internet. Plus, we throw in some top 10 lists to keep you guys on your toes. I'm Charlotte Jobray, and if this is your first time here, subscribe, and turn on the bell, and follow the IO team on social media. Over the progression of the Natalia Barnett story, I've come to realize there's a lot of conflicting info floating around about Natalia Grace Barnett. But there's a difference between a fact and a claim, and sometimes the definition gets convoluted. So I decided to put together all the facts we know for sure about Natalia Barnett into one nifty top 10 list for you. And yes, some of these facts you probably haven't heard before. You're about to hear the top 10 shocking facts about Natalia Barnett you won't believe. In at number 10, Natalia is said to be from the Ukraine. Yet Natalia does not have a Ukrainian accent and never spoke a word of Ukrainian while she was in the care of the Barnetts. She's said to have arrived in the United States in the year 2008 as part of an adoption program. This we know to be true thanks to a probable cause affidavit. Natalia spent some time with one adoptive family but was returned to the adoption center for undisclosed reasons. At this time, no one knows what the those undisclosed reasons are. Then Michael and Christine Barnett adopted Natalia in 2010. At number 9, Natalia's birth records indicate that she was born on September 4th, 2003. The certificate states 9-4-3. Natalia was examined by a physician in 2010 and they estimated her age was 8 years old at the time, which would make her 18 years old today. Two years later in 2012, a children's hospital did their own testing and estimated Natalia was around 11 years old, making her 19 years old today. Confused yet? In at 8, Natalia has a rare form of dwarfism. The medical name for it is spondylopiphyseal dysplasia congenia. There have only been around 175 reported cases of this particular type of dwarfism ever. It's an inherited bone growth disorder present from birth that causes short stature, skeletal abnormalities, as well as problems with both vision and hearing. This is what's caused a lot of issues with determining Natalia's age. At number 7, Natalia's legal age is 30. Back in June of 2012, Michael and Christine Barnett legally had Natalia's age changed from 8 years old to 22 years old. This wasn't something that could be done lightly. You can't just go to City Hall, sign some papers, and change your age. In order to do this, the Barnetts provided birth records to a judge indicating Natalia was born in 1989, which would mean she was 22 at the time and 30 years old today. I'm not sure where they got birth records that stated Natalia was 22 at the time. I noticed some comments on one of our videos that state birth records from Europe start with the birth year and then end with the day, so maybe that's where the confusion came in, I'm not sure. At number 6 on our list, Natalia has mental health issues. According to Michael Barnett, one of the reasons why they wanted to change her age was so she could be lawfully admitted into a psychiatric hospital to get the care she needed. According to claims made by Christine Barnett, she was fearful for her life. Christine claims that Natalia threatened to kill her and her family on more than one occasion. While on Dr. Oz's show, Michael Barnett said that they caught Natalia pouring pine salt into Christine's coffee. When they confronted her about it, Natalia simply said, I'm trying to kill you. After this, the Barnett took Natalia to psychiatric professionals. Michael said, I quote, while at the stress center she was documenting, she was telling doctors, she was telling therapists, she was writing down in her notepad, not only am I trying to kill Christine, I'm trying to kill the brothers too. Natalia had three adoptive brothers. According to Barnett, she also said, I quote, here's how I'm going to do it. Here's what I'm going to do with their bodies. At number five, the Barnett's left Natalia in Indiana and moved to Waterloo in 2013 so their eldest son at the time, 12 year old Jacob Barnett could study physics physics at the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics. When Natalia was released from the stress center, where caretakers supported the claim that Natalia was an adult, the Barnetts set her up with an apartment. They claimed they paid her rent for the first three months, set her up with disability, social security, and food stamps. Michael Barnett also claims that he checked on her a couple times a week and she was fine. Sliding into number four, Natalia was taking adult classes at the Lafayette Adult Resource Academy, an institution where adults can get their GED. The Lafayette Adult Resource Academy does not allow just anyone to take classes. Classes. Students have to be adults. But according to a neighbor, Natalia quit going to classes one day and was evicted from her Lafayette apartment right around the same time. In at three, you might not know this, but Natalia Barnett has a YouTube channel. She has 102 subscribers at the time of this recording and she joined the platform on December 14th, 2014. She hasn't posted any content, but she's got some playlists. At that time, the Barnetts had officially moved to Canada. Her last name on the channel is still listed as Barnett. At number two, Natalia has never been charged with any crime, which is kind of of interesting. Despite all of the claims made by the Barnetts that she was violent toward them and their children, she was never arrested for attempted murder nor was she charged with anything. She was also never represented by a lawyer when the Barnetts legally changed her age to 30 years old. And at number one on our list, a new family in Indiana is trying to become Natalia's legal guardians. They filed for 
guardianship back in 2016. But in order to do that, they needed to get a hold of her birth records. This family tried to change her legal age back to the original birth date, but Michael Barnett showed up to that guardianship hearing with several of Natalia's past healthcare professionals as well as documents supporting the claim that Natalia was an adult. A judge denied the guardianship and ruled Natalia was an adult for the second time. Bonus fact for you guys, I know I've probably listed about 100 facts in this video, but both Michael and Christine Barnett are now divorced and have pleaded not guilty to two counts of neglect of a dependent. I hope this list has cleared up at least some of the confusion surrounding this case and we will update you guys if any new info in the trial comes to light. For now, I'm going to respond to some comments from our last video about Natalia Barnett. Natalia Barnett's adoptive parents fear for their lives. Desi Lou said, legally changing a birth year is so incredibly hard to do. I don't see a judge doing that unless he had a good reason. Yeah, I mean, he was probably convinced by medical professionals that he should do it. Paola Lopez said, so many YouTubers were incredibly irresponsible with the story and took part in the social persecution of a child. I'm glad you provided an update to the story that challenged the falsehoods in your initial assertions. It is the responsible thing to do. What a wonderfully thought out and grammatically correct comment. <laughs> it was wonderful to read. Thank you, by the way. Hi, Anne said, Natalia is going to be on Dr. Phil. I saw the preview on Friday. Dude, I am definitely gonna watch that. Thank you for the tip. That is it for me. Thanks for watching. If you wanna keep watching, we put together a playlist for you with a bunch of videos about Natalia Barnett. That's clickable on your screen right now. And make sure you subscribe so you never miss another IO video.